busy day on the island of Sodor. Thomas and Percy were delivering train parts to the Sodor Steamworks. Percy sounded his whistle. His whistle made a very different sound. Oh no! It was broken. His whistle didn't sound good. That made Percy sad. <sighs> Thomas wanted to cheer up his best friend. But how? Suddenly, an idea bubbled in his boiler. Thomas thought that Percy's broken whistle sounded great. It's musical. Thomas could collect sounds from all around the island and surprise Percy with a music show. And Percy and his broken whistle would be the star. Thomas raced to the first stop, Brendam Docks, where he saw Salty. Salty, will you help me please? Percy is sad because his whistle is broken. We need some sounds to put on a music show to make Percy feel better. Oh! <laughs> yes, matey! Salty honked his horn. With surprise, Cranky, who dropped the crate? <gasps> Those are two sounds we can use for the show! Salty, will you come to the show and bring your horn and the broken crate sounds? Yes, me hearty! Now Thomas had two sounds. Salty's horn... ...and the broken crates. Toby was at Farmer McCall's farm when Thomas puffed in. Thomas asked Toby if he had any sounds. Well, jingle my bell. I'm happy to help, said Toby. Then he rang his bell. All the animals looked and answered. <coughs> Thomas smiled from buffer to buffer. More sounds! He asked Toby excitedly to use his bell and to bring the animals to the music show. Percy is going to love his surprise show! Now Thomas had more sounds. Salty's horn. <coughs> the broken crates. Toby's bell. And the animals. <coughs> Napford Station was very busy when Thomas arrived. Thomas clickety clack up the track next to Gordon. Gordon had just steamed to a stop. And then the conductor yelled. All aboard! That's a jolly noise, said Thomas. More sounds for the show. Thomas asked Gordon to bring the conductor and his steam sound. Now Thomas had even more sounds. Salty's horn. The broken crates. Toby's bell. The animals. Gordon's steam. And the conductor. All aboard! Finally, it was time for the show. But where was Percy? Sad Percy puffed slowly into Tidmouth's shed. Surprise! Yelled Thomas. What's happening? Percy asked. Percy, this is for you. Ready? We present our music show! All aboard! As Percy listened to all of his friends' amazing sounds, he began whistling too. His broken whistle sound was actually very musical. Percy quickly became the star of the show.
Percy wasn't sad anymore. He realised that he could use his broken sound in a new way. And that made him feel really unique and special. Percy looked at his best friend. Thank you, Thomas. You're a good friend. Percy beamed from buffer to buffer and happily sounded his broken whistle. The End